Okay guys, it is <laughs> solar day. Well, maybe. It's a little, it's like solar prep day. This is where my batteries be. Oh, right in there. And now we gotta turn all this stuff into a solar system. So, here we go. All right, this is my inverter. This is like what turns uh, DC into AC. 12 volt DC, AC, DC. Oh, it's so confusing. <laughs> It's what turns the 12 volt direct current into 120 volt AC. It's gonna go right there. Yeah. Yes. That's it. That's where she's gonna go. And now I gotta go chase down some trash. But this bad boy's gonna be perfect right there. Awesome. Awesome possum. Okay, next we have the charge controllers, the MPPT charge controllers. I don't know what MPPT stands for, but these are good. They're better. There are a couple types of charge controllers. And uh, this type of charge controller does a better job <laughs> guys at some point I will do a super in-depth video about the solar system but if we're being frank and I hope that we are I barely understand it right now it and I have spent probably like total of at least like 50 hours <laughs> researching this stuff and learning about it I understand it but <clears throat> I don't want to pretend to be an authority until I'm positive that I know what I'm talking about um, so the, the charge controller, I do know the charge controller. What is the charge controller? Well, your batteries, you can't just like have a uncontrolled power running to them like willy nilly because it's bad for your batteries. If your batteries are completely charged and you keep like pumping power into them, bad things happen. I don't know what, just really bad things happen. So this charge controller goes between the solar panels and your batteries and it monitors the batteries and it says, hey, these batteries are, they done went and been full. So we're going to, we're going to cut it off. We're going to shut it down until these batteries need some more power. So these guys, I have two of them because they can only handle four of my batteries at a time. And I have eight batteries. I have eight 100 amp hour batteries. So these bad boys are going right in here. Two of them. Dos. Yeah, I think that's going to work. It's going to be good. It's going to be real good. Y'all, I have good news and some bad news. The bad news, my phone completely bit the dust right in, not in the middle, in the end of my solar installation. And all of the videos were on my phone and they had not uploaded to iCloud and they're gone. <laughs> I filmed a lot of stuff that's gone. <laughs> so... At some point, I will do a hyper thorough explanation of how that all went down, but my panels are on the roof, my batteries, and I mean, everything's hooked up. <laughs> like it's done and all of the footage is gone. So that's the bad news. The good news is I got an iPhone 8. Seven, seven, iPhone seven, I don't know. I got the new iPhone, you guys, <laughs> whichever one we're on. And it shoots in 4K and it's really pretty. So in lieu of the super thorough, wonderful solar system installation video that you would have had next, here's a few seconds of some really pretty wheat and high quality 4K.
other good news, I am putting my refrigerator in. All right, the only way into Earl for this fridge is through this back door, and this back door is about to get blocked off with the bed framing. So let's do this. Uh, I got the igloo, 5.5 cubic square feet. I got the igloo side by side fridge. That's 5.5 cubic feet. That's what it is. So one side is the fridge. Already got some stuff up in her, and the other side is a freezer. So the same size. So that was one thing, you know, if I'm gonna be out for long stints, which I way overdid my solar power so that I could be out and about without hookups, maybe um, without groceries for a while, I wanted to be able to uh, have lots of freezer space. Cause a lot of the mini fridges, you know, they either have a small freezer or none at all. Um, so I'm pretty excited about this. It took me a long time to find it in stock. It's really popular and they're not making very many of them. So I finally found it. I snatched it up, ordered it, and uh, so far so good. I really like it. I'll put the link in the description box below. And if you like it, I mean, full disclosure, I will, um, uh, I get a, like an affiliate percentage for, um, for uh, introducing you to it. So if you buy it, please buy it through the link. It would help me out. Oh, hi. I couldn't help but overhear you saying how desperate you were to watch more YouTube videos. Well, you can. Subscribe here. You won't miss a thing. Or watch my film, Once is Enough, right here. Or just click here. Watch another video.